In a regular cars.com video, we might talk to you about things like safety features or how family friendly something is or how many USB ports it has. But today, we're not gonna talk about any of those practical concerns because the car behind me is anything but practical. It's the 2019 Acura NSX, and instead, we're going to tell you what it's like to get behind the wheel of a modern day supercar. The old NSX was a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car, much like all the other mid-engine cars that I've driven, like the Porsche Boxster and the Toyota MR2. And that's because if you have a mid-engine car, you really don't want to run a drive shaft through the cabin to the front wheels. And so all of them are consequentially rear-wheel drive. However, that's where the NSX is different. This is a mid-engine all-wheel drive vehicle, thanks to a hybrid powertrain that has a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 in the back to power the rear wheels, and then a pair of electric motors up front, one for the left and one for the right. The benefit to the system is that with that type of control over how much power is going to each wheel, uh, the car is actually able to help you kind of steer into corners. And what that means is you're able to get on the gas earlier than you would normally going through a corner in a rear wheel drive vehicle. The car actually kind of feels like it's pulling you through the turn rather than having to like slow down, wait for a point for the car to settle and then getting back on the gas. And what that does is it makes the NSX feel like it doesn't really go around turns so much as go through them. The NSX's mid-engine setup also gives it great balance. You put all that weight in the middle of the car and you're not too worried about it being out over the front wheels or over the rear wheels. It just kind of feels like there's, almost like there's a pole in the middle of the car stuck to the ground and the car just kind of turns around that. So even when you make some minor mistakes, like you come into a corner with too much speed or you try to add speed in a corner, the car is able to kind of account for those things uh, because it's so balanced. Now to call the NSX a supercar, it's also got to deliver in terms of power, and it really does. It's got 573 maximum system horsepower and 476 pounds-feet of torque, and that's enough to get this car from zero to 60 miles an hour in just 2.9 seconds. If you want to go for that 2.9 second mark yourself, this car also comes with one of the easiest to use launch control systems that I've ever seen. All you do is flip the car into track mode, stand on the brake with your left foot, hit the gas with your right. A little display up here in the instrument panel will tell you that launch control has been activated and is ready. And then you drop the brake and all of a sudden everything turns very blurry, very fast. This car is a top speed of 191 miles an hour and it feels like it could reach it fairly easily. It's also worth noting that the NSX is also good at things besides going fast. So this is actually a supercar that you can drive on the street and it's fairly comfortable. The suspension won't beat you up too much and it even comes with something called quiet mode. And in that mode, the exhaust gets toned down, the throttle response gets uh, lessened a little bit and it just kind of drives around town like uh, your average kind of sports car. It doesn't beat you up too much. And since this is a hybrid, it even gets over 20 miles per gallon combined. Driving the NSX, I came to really appreciate its accessibility. And what I mean by that is there are other cars in this price range and other supercars in particular that feel like they're built on an absolute nice edge. And if you make one small mistake, uh, they're gonna take you off the road and kill you. But the NSX, it feels a bit more forgiving. And it starts with the Continental Sport Contact 6 tires, which are new for 2019. And Acura says those provide more grip than the previous tire. Uh, you also get an all-wheel drive system, which is more forgiving. So if you get on the gas too early in a rear-wheel drive car, you're gonna kick the rear end out and oversteer. Uh, in an all-wheel drive car like this one, especially with one that the system this smart, it'll just kind of plow you through and do the correction for you. Uh, the third thing is this car has, again, incredible balance. Um, engine in the middle, all the weight is concentrated there, and it drives like it's absolutely planted to the ground. The final thing that I really appreciate with the NSX is that it's fun to drive even when you're not going full out. Uh, there are other vehicles in this price range and of this genre that um, are really only happy when you're driving them to their absolute max. Uh, thinking of the Porsche 911 GT3 in particular, uh, that car is really only happy when you're driving it very, very hard. And it's hard to do that. It's hard to find a road that allows you to drive it that hard safely. Um, you really kind of need a track to do that. But the NSX remains pretty enjoyable even when you're not driving at full board. The responsiveness of the power train, uh, the car's incredible balance. Those are two things that you learn to appreciate even if you're not driving the car to the maximum of its ability. Now, if I had to nitpick one thing about the NSX that it's missing, and that would be, uh, I think it needs more of an exhaust note. Um, you don't quite get the same uh, sensation that you get in this vehicle that you get in other ones. However, if you just look at it though, this thermal orange pearl paint, it's plenty loud enough. 
Final thing to talk about the NSX is price. So this car that I'm in right now, stickers at $197,500, including destination charges. So almost $200,000 a car. But most of that, if you look at the option sheet, comes from uh, these carbon fiber pieces that you see on the interior and on the exterior. The car actually starts at right around $160,000. And at that price, you're actually getting much of the same performance. None of the add-ons really boost the performance of the car. So if you wanted to get a car without all these carbon fiber pieces, you could get an NSX for about $40,000 less with very similar performance and that's a much better deal. In case it was hard to tell, I love driving the NSX. It's incredibly fun to drive, it looks the part of a supercar, and perhaps most importantly, it's a worthy successor to the NSX name.